everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this sturdy mesh market bag, uh, which you can see here in the photo. Also, if you take a look at my blog, richtexturescrochet.com, you'll see some other photos of this market bag there. This is an easy market bag to work. It's worked from the bottom up, from one piece, and uh, features these two crocheted handles here up at the top. It uh, is made up of single crochets and double crochet stitches. It's a fairly easy pattern to catch on to. I've worked it here in three different colors. You can use as many colors uh, or as few colors as you would like. If you are joining me for the Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along, welcome. This is week three in the Crochet Along. And if you haven't heard of the Crochet Along yet, uh, you'll find the information for it through a link in the description of this video. Also there in the description, you will find a direct link to the written crochet pattern. That's once again on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. For this pattern today, you're going to need uh, three colors of yarn if you'd like to work it as I have here. I'm using a 100% worsted weight cotton called Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. And uh, I'm going to be using three colors. My color A is a pewter, which is this dark gray here. You're going to need about 165 yards of it. Color B, which is this pink mulberry color. You're going to need about 100 yards of your pink and then I'm also using a lighter gray called stone and again you'll need 150 yards of your stone color. For this you're also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook such as this one here. You'll find links to these items also in the description of that video. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos that you find here. Our market bag patterns today are worked from the bottom up. So we're going to start down here with our bottom. They are worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then you're going to chain four. Now one thing to note in the bottom of the market bag, the chain three at the beginning of each round does count as a double crochet stitch. For round one, you're going to begin by working 11 double crochet stitches into that fourth chain from your hook. So in that very first chain, work 11 double crochets. Your chain three will count as a stitch. So in the total, at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 12 double crochet stitches. This is 9, 10, and 11. So now including your chain 3 there at the beginning, you should have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Once you have worked your 11 double crochets, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain 3. For round two, you're going to begin by chaining three and then working one double crochet stitch into the same chain as joining. So including that chain three, you'll have two stitches coming out of that first stitch. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches in each chain all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have a total 
of 24 stitches. And you can join with a slip stitch at the top of your starting chain 3. At the end of your round two, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, and you're ready to begin round three. For round three, you're going to chain three, and into that next stitch, work two double crochet stitches. So you have your chain three coming out from the same stitches joining, then into the next stitch, work two double crochets. Double crochet, one double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work one double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two double crochets into the next. At the end of round three, you're joining in the same stitch, or in the first stitch, your chain three. And at the end of round three, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round four, you're going to chain three, which counts as a stitch. Double crochet, work one double crochet into the next stitch. And followed by two double crochets into the next. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into the next. Repeat all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round you should have 48 stitches. For round five, you're going to chain three and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Next, work two double crochets into the next stitch. followed by one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Two double crochets into the next stitch, followed by one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Continue all the way around. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 60 stitches, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round six, you're going to chain three, Work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. Next, 
Next, work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into each of the next four stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. At the end of this round, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you should have a total of 72 stitches. For round seven, you're going to chain three and work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. You will have noticed by now that we are increasing each round by 12 stitches. So your circle will be growing larger and larger. Next, after you've double crocheted in each of the next four stitches, you're going to work two double crochet stitches into the next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two double crochets into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next five stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch and at the end of this round you're going to have a total of 84 double crochet stitches. You can then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round eight, you're going to chain three. You're going to double crochet, work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and then two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and two double crochets into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of this round you will have a total of 96 stitches. For round nine first I need to join with the slip stitch in the top of my first stitch from round eight and then round nine you're going to chain three work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches and then two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. followed by two double crochets 
into the next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round you will have 108 stitches in total. For round 10, you're going to chain 3 and work one double crochet into each of the next 7 stitches. Next, work two double crochets into the next stitch, followed by one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around, two double crochet stitches into the next stitch, followed by one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. Uh, join with the slip stitch in that first stitch once you come all the way around. At the end of this round you'll have a total of 120 stitches. the end of round 10, you're, uh, you should have a fairly large circle there in front of you. Uh, it's going to measure, let me see here, approximately 11 inches across. Okay, so at this point we're done our increase rounds. For rounds 11 and 12, you are going to chain one, single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So beginning with that first stitch, single crochet, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to the beginning, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one, and, uh, and work that round 12. At the end of round 12, we are going to switch to our color B, and uh, I will show you how I like to change colors um, at that time. So go ahead, work two rounds of single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch, chain one, single crochet in each stitch and uh, then meet me back here at the end of round 12. As I mentioned, at uh, the end of your round 12, you're going to want to change to your color B. So to change to your color B, I have my final stitch here in round 12. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over and drop a, a loop using your color A. You're then going to drop that color A Pick up your color B, which is my mulberry color, place it on your hook, and pull through. You can then pull those two little ends there and back tight, just to bring the stitch in a little bit, and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At this time, you can fasten off your color A, and if you like to weave them in as you go, you can weave in your ends. You're now ready to begin the bag body. So with color uh, B, you're going to chain one. This is round 13. And you're going to simply single crochet into that first stitch. And then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Once you come to that first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. All 
At the end of round 13, you're joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. There's no need to turn your work. And for round 14, you're going to start by chaining four. Your chain four counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one space. Once you've chained four, you're going to skip the next stitch and then work one double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. When you come back around, you're going to chain one and then join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. Once you come all the way around, you chain one, skip the next stitch, and join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. You're all set to begin round 15. For round 15, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. You're going to skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come back to your starting chain four, chain one, and join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. At the end of round 15, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. You're then going to, for round 16, chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as joining. And now you're going to single crochet in each chain space and each double crochet space all the way around. So single crochet in each chain space and each double crochet all the way around. In your final stitch, you're going to switch to your color C and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. I'm here at my final stitch here of round 16. Uh, into that space I've inserted my hook, yarn over, drop a loop. I want to join my color C now. just as I did down before when I was changing after the bottom. Pull those two loops with my color C, join in a, with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You can now go ahead and fasten off that color B and then weave in your ends as you go if you'd like or uh, when you're finished your bag. With color C for round 17, we're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of row, round 17, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 18, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And just as you did before, you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around 
ending with a chain one and a join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. For round 19, you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And now uh, you're going to skip the next chain space, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip the next chain space, and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this all the way around when you come to the start of your round. Chain one, skip the next chain space, and then join with a slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. For round 20, you are going to chain one and just as you did for uh, round 16 I believe yes uh, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch single crochet into the next chain one space and single crochet into the next double crochet you're going to repeat that all the way around in your final stitch you're going to want to switch back to color A and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. So at the end of round 20 you've switched to color A and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. So now for the next four rounds, so 21 through to 24, you're going to repeat the previous four rounds, but working in your color A. So your single crochet round, your two rows of double crochets and chain ones, and then one more single crochet uh, round, and then you're going to switch back to your color B. Then for the rest of the market bag, you're going to repeat your rounds 13, through to 24 so that brings you to the end the final single crochet row in your color A so repeat rounds 13 to 24 one more time and then you're going to repeat your rounds 13 which is starting here at this pink through to 20 which is the end of your light gray your color C round you're going to, going to repeat that one one more time once you have repeated that those rounds 13 to 20 the one last time you're then going to work the top of the bag so at that point you're able to continue on with your color C there's no need to change colors okay so go ahead work rounds 13 through to 24 one more time and then 13 through to 20 one more time and then meet me back here for the top of your bag and your handles so once you've worked all of those repeats, you should have something that looks like this. You have your bag, and then you're going to have three stripes in your color B, three stripes in your color C, which was this color here, and then two stripes worked in your color A, and then of course your bottom. So once you're done that, uh, you've just completed round 20 which was a single crochet round around in each space and double crochet worked in your color C we're going to continue working in our color C you can chain one and for the next three rounds you're going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way around followed by a join in the first stitch with a slip stitch chain one and then single crochet in each stitch all the way around so you're going to work three more rounds of single crochet stitches that will give you a total of four here at the top of, the, of your market bag and uh, and then you're all set to start working the handles so go ahead work three rounds of single crochet stitches in each stitch 
all the way around and then meet me back here for the handles. Once you have worked your three rounds of single crochet stitches here at the top of your bag, you're all set to begin your bag handles. And we're going to work two of these handles uh, and they are worked in rows. So what we're going to do for the first handle, for your first row, you're going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be a total of 50 chain stitches. There's 10. Twenty, thirty, forty. and 50. Once you have your chain 50 worked, on the top of your market bag, starting uh, in the stitch after where you joined, you're going to count and then skip those 29 stitches. So starting in the next stitch, you're just going to count 29 stitches. There's 10, 20, 29. Into your next stitch, so skip the 29, into the next stitch, join with a slip stitch. And that's your first row for your market bag handles. You're now going to turn your bag and working in between the two joins for your handle, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then working along that first chain row, you're going to work one single crochet into each chain all the way across. So I like to work on those back bumps. It's not necessary. You can work in uh, whatever the part of the chain stitch that you'd like, but into each chain all the way across, work one single crochet stitch. You're going to have a total of 50 single crochet stitches and then you're going to join in the next stitch on the market bag in between the two joins of your handles. You're just going to join with a slip stitch on the other side and I'll show you uh, when I come across. So go ahead and work one single crochet into each chain stitch all the way across. Once you've single crocheted in each stitch all the way across uh, and you've come to your market bag end, then working between the two joins, I'm trying to get them here both in the camera, the two joins on your market bag, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And you then want to switch uh, slip stitch into the next two stitches just so we can come up to the height of a double crochet stitch. So slip stitch in the next stitch and then in the next and you're going to again turn your work. Now working into that row of single crochet stitches you're going to double crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the other end, you're going to skip the next two stitches on your market bag and join with a slip stitch into the next stitch. And I'll show you that when I come all the way across. So go ahead and work one double crochet into each single crochet all the way along your handle. Once you come across and double crochet in each stitch all the way across on your market bag, you're going to want to skip the next two stitches 
uh, working in between these two handles. At this time also you want to make sure that your handle is not twisted at all. So make sure that it's not flat or uh, uh, that it is flat and it's not twisted. If it is you'll want to untwist it and then on your market bag top skip the next two stitches and join with a slip stitch into that next stitch. Next slip stitch into the next stitch and turn your work. The final row of your handle is going to be a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come across to the other end you're going to join with a slip stitch into the next stitch on your market bag. So single crochet into each of the double crochets all the way across. At the end of your bag handle and your final single crochet just into the next stitch on the bag body up at the top there join with a slip stitch. At this time you can fasten off and weave in your ends and you've now worked uh, the first handle of your market bag. You're now going to want to repeat that process on the other side of your bag for the other handle. So what you're going to do is starting in the next stitch, so now these are the outer edges of my handles here. Starting into the next stitch you're going to count and skip 29 stitches. There's 10, 20, 29. Into that next stitch you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. You're then going to, as you did for this other handle, repeat those rows. So start with your chain 50 as you did before. You're going to then count and skip 29 stitches on your bag. Join with a slip stitch in the 30th stitch chain, uh, and, then, uh, and so forth. Um, and then with your single crochet, your double crochet row, and then another single crochet row to complete the handle. So for this second handle, uh, once you've joined, you're just going to go back, repeat those um, four rows, including the foundation chain that you did for the first handle. You're going to repeat those for the second handle, and uh, then your sturdy mesh market bag is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make this market bag. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.